Hey guys, this is Melissa Zad for Pep Talk UK, and I am joined by none other than Rance. Champ! That's who you're joined by. The champ, the champ. Rance, how do you feel after that emphatic win? Um, I feel like Q needs to take me on pads. I just about broke a sweat in there, but it was nice. It was nice. I mean, it was a second round stoppage, yeah. TKO. I did. What, that as well. sh what shot do you think actually stopped him in his tracks? It was the right uppercut. It was the right uppercut. I kept seeing it. He was dropping the front hand, and I could see him. I saw his gum shield in the first round. I knew he was tired. And then he was just dropping his head and he was just throwing wild shots over the top trying to make it ugly. So I was clinching him. But when I had him in the clinch, I was just giving him little naughty uppercuts and that. And then he just kept dropping his head. And as soon as he dropped that head, I just popped it. Boom. And then, you know what I mean? He done spaghetti legs the first time. I tried to close it out. And then he started swinging as well. I just had to clinch him again. I got caught with some silly shots because I got greedy. But once I felt his power, I knew he couldn't hurt me. So I didn't really mind trading with him. Do you know what I mean? I knew once I hit him with the uppercut again, he was gone. Do you feel like um, after all of the planning and strategizing that you did, that you were able to stick to your game plan throughout the fight? No, because he was a bit more erratic than I thought he would be. And you can't really train for that. Do you know what I mean? Like he was throwing proper unorthodox punches. Like all his shots were coming from the side. I don't remember. Well, he didn't t catch me with a single jab or a straight like left hand. It, the only shots that I did kind of get caught with were looping shots because he was just running forward and like he had his head down. It was very unorthodox and in them situations you just got a clinch you know what I mean I was a stronger man we might have been the same weight but do you know what I mean I, I'm the better athlete by a mile like they were giving all that talk saying oh he's the better athlete he's the better boxer I showed I'm the better athlete I was fitter than him do you know what I mean I'm stronger than him and when I had him in the clinch he couldn't get out like I, all day like I could have gone six rounds ten rounds like I felt like the ref stopped it too soon I wanted to put him on his back so, from an outsider's perspective, the way that your movement was operating him around the ring, you didn't really allow him to get you with too many of those looping Nothing. shots. Nothing. And your jab was super effective as well. Do you feel like you got your jab off okay? Not as much as um, I would have if he was an orthodox fighter. You know when you're fighting southpaws, it makes it kind of harder to use that jab. Like, but my jab was still pretty effective. I worked on it all camp. I didn't know he was a southpaw until maybe a week before the fight. So I didn't have any southpaw sparring apart from in the last week. Shout out Dion as well. Olympian bruv, like took me through. Do you know what I mean? So I literally been sparring um, orthodox fighters until the last week. So I just had to switch it up. But the jab still like basic fundamentals in it. If you ain't got a jab, you know what I mean? That's it. If you ain't got a jab, you ain't got shit. So Fight aside, you know, obviously there's um, a long-standing kind of grudge between you guys. Yeah. Um, and just before the actual fight happened, there was a little bit of a, a little bit of a like a argument in the changing yeah. rooms. What was that about? You know what happened, yeah? When I heard all the shouting in the changing room, the first thing I said to my guys is, I said, listen, they're trying to get the fight pulled because they're not confident. Because if you're confident, you just shut up. Like, I was at the point where I was going to say, you know what, I'll walk first. It's not making a difference because I'm going to walk last at the end. Do you know what I mean? So they were saying they want to walk last, all of this. And I just think that they knew they, they weren't feeling confident. They saw how relaxed I was. I was out there dancing and smiling. Do you know what I mean? I had a nap and uh, I went for a walk. Do you know what I mean? I was jumping up and down in the wing. I was chilling, bruv. Look on my Instagram. I put a picture up before in the ring, bruv. I knew it was my night. Do you know what I mean? My dad's name's not on the flyer. It's my night. Do you know what I mean? I told them, man, already. No? So, like, it was nothing. You know what I mean? I rung that guy's bell, bruv. And that's all it was. And the bottom line is, I'll do it again. Them man know, innit? Like, the talking, he said on tonight, the talking stops. Let's hope it does stop now. Because now father and son know, bro, I'll knock you both out. So now you know that. Like, just let it go now. Do you know what I mean? So, question, right? Now that you've shared a ring with Kieran, yeah. um, do you have a sort of, res a, a kind of respect for him? Bro, I respect him, yeah, as as a man because he stepped in there as a person i don't respect him but as a man i respect him i told him after the fight he said oh like i was just defending my dad and that bro you don't need to defend your dad your dad's a big hard back man bro your dad could defend himself but since you stepped in there you had to get smoke do you know what i mean i'm sorry it had to be you bro but the bottom line is one of you were getting touched so like it is what it is isn't it like really and truly i respect him yeah, bruv, I respect him having the bottle to step in the ring because it takes a lot, bruv. Anyone can talk shit about boxers, yeah? Like, training's hard, getting in there's hard, bruv. Like, it takes a lot of bottle. Like, do you know what I mean? So I respect him for getting in there, bruv, more than I respect his dad. Because if that was my dad and my dad had one arm, he'll fight. He'll fight. Do you know what I'm saying? So, beef aside, on a more positive note, how does it feel holding that belt? 
It feels great, but to be fair, I held it already. I've already got a picture of me holding the belt on my phone screensaver from before the fight. I told you, man, it was coming home. You don't believe me, but it's there. Self-fulfilling prophecy. But this is it. Like, it was always going to end that way. That's why I slept like a baby today. I smiled all the way up until the fight. Do you know what I mean? Everyone saw how relaxed I was. I was out there having a dance, bruv. Like, that's just what it is. Well, it was a really entertaining fight. Yeah. Um, are you looking forward to defending the belt? Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Wicked. Well, good luck. Thank you.